Hi guys, I'm going to review what Hannah Atkins eats in a day. Of course, first a cup of tea. Lovely. Some lovely toxins. <laughs> Oh yeah, good morning Manchester! <laughs> Not even the people who live in Manchester think that it's nice there. <laughs> Caffeine with soy milk. What can I say? Oh, you're a bit late today, guys. Let me just... Oh, no, even... Who on earth starts their day with so much makeup? I can still see your dark eye circles. Let me just pop you up. Um, ever since Ella sang that song to me, I sing it literally ever since... Bleach Thief, of course, also. Ah, oh, man. In the morning. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? But anyway, good morning. Are we the right height? Good morning. Yeah, of course, she has a puppy. <laughs> No children. You see how Probably, I don't know. You're gonna get a good W today. We call it double. She also has a filter on the video, right? The face looks. It looks strange. There's a filter. W A L K a W in this household, otherwise she gets excited. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Manchester, and I'm up and dressed. A sunny day in Manchester? I didn't think that that exists. Not in a tracksuit, not in pyjamas, it's a rarity. Because I have actually got quite a few bits and pieces on today. Just got a couple of meetings, I've got coffee in town with a friend, and you know, just... A Tea, then some coffee. A little admin day. I thought what could be quite fun is to film one of my What Are You In A Day videos, but to do it on a day when I'm actually pretty busy. So I'm thinking super easy, simple, quick, but still young. She has a very manly face and voice also. Very unattractive. Yummy, healthy, nutritious, all of that stuff. So in a second, I'm gonna grab some breakfast. But first I wanted to talk to you about something that my sister actually introduced me to, and that is AG1 by Athletic Greens, who have very kindly sponsored this part of the video. So Your sister told you about it, or did you get an email to promote them? <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> AG1 is essentially a daily supplement with 75 different ingredients, including probiotics, vitamins, minerals, superfoods. Vitamins? I don't think so, innit? If it's vegan, there can't even really be any vitamins, except for some bees. And all of that good stuff packed into this powder. So let me just open this up and show you because it's super simple to take. Essentially, all I do in the morning is take one scoop of the powder. The fact that it's green already says that it's toxic. I'm gonna try this without making a mess. I add it into the canister and then all I have to add to that is some water. I'll just quickly do that. Do -do -do. Added my water, pop the lid on, give it a good shake. Oh, there's a lid on. I feel like a cocktail maker. And that's literally ready to go. So it's super easy to just drink this first thing in the morning. And for me being plant-based, there are certain vitamins and minerals that it's just really important to monitor and make sure you're getting enough of. And what I really love about AG1 is it just simplifies that. Meaning there's no need for a hundred different bottles and powders cluttering up all of my cupboards. When I wasn't feeling... So you're basically saying that if you're plant-based or vegan, that you need to take supplements or some kind of powders because you can't really get what you want from the whole foods. That's what it sounds like. And of course you can't anyway, because plants don't have over 15 micronutrients, so whatever plants you eat, you will never get them. These powders also won't help. Very well recently, this was amazing, just to make sure I was getting all my vitamin C. All of Man, that stuff is dark green. Just by the looks of it, it's already toxic. My sink, I'm really giving my immune system the best possible chance. AG1 is also vegan, paleo, and keto friendly, and it actually tastes amazing. It smells so good. Athletic- Paleo friendly. I don't think so. Greens is also very kindly going to give you a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first pack. Also, what kind of a vegan is she if she promotes something that is keto or paleo friendly, which is usually based on meat? If you're really vegan, then I would think that you wouldn't promote anything that is related to meat. So again, I'll leave the link here and I will leave the link in the description box. What is this? 
just uh, again avocado toast it's like in every video that i review now it's just like pure starvation man <laughs> it's just, bread has nothing it's just like fiber and carbohydrate sugar avocado really has nothing except for a little bit of vitamin e and some potassium and whatnot and then she has what some sprouted whatever seeds so this is breakfast all finished it is quite a small portion because i know i'm gonna have to have my really just looks like pure starvation like it's not food inedible lunch quite early today and also being honest i don't really get my appetite until a bit later in the day this is pretty much my everyday breakfast I would never have an appetite for that. Just heading out for coffee now and I thought I'd show you a really quick out. Think about it, if you wake up in the morning and somebody puts a steak in front of you, would you not have an appetite? And no, you don't have an appetite because all you eat is garbage. Of the day. So I've got on my And Other Stories blazer, Reese time it or not, uh, my And Other Stories blazer, a little crop from Zara. She looks like she's possibly under eating. My princess body trousers and then wrapped in a knot, my Claudia Piano trainers. It's a real good Monday. What a freaking slave, man. The weather in the UK at the moment really giving me life. If you're not from the UK, maybe you don't know this about Brits, but when the weather's good, best believe we're going to talk about the weather being good. But I just had a tea in town, so nothing too exciting. So I thought I would come home now and make myself some lunch. But before I have lunch, I So you have tea and possibly coffee all day long? That's just caffeine, stress hormones being produced non-stop, which is what gives you false energy all day long. Of course you're gonna have those dark eye circles, of course you're gonna be exhausted. Actually I'm gonna have, let me just grab from the fridge. Yeah, I remembered that the other day when I was at the garden eatery, um, I picked up one of these glow juices, which is beetroot, carrot, cucumber, and lemon. This is not one that you wanna spill down your top, is it? Um, also, I always get these juices, and I got a comment on one of my last videos about what I'm about to do now, um, which said something like, why pour juice out of a perfectly good container into another container? And do you know what? I can't even argue with that. That is a very good point. However, I'm about to do it again. Because, oh, where is it? Here. I have this, I recently got it, for, if you are from Manchester. I hate British women. Or I think up north, I think it's like a northern chain. I recently got this jar from Soft Stream Green, if that's how you say it. And I'm just obsessed with putting my juices into it. Okay, so just let a girl live her life. In terms of juices, I do love a juice, but I prefer to go for one that's more like vegetables than fruit. Um, just because otherwise I feel like the sugar makes me feel a bit like icky. There's nothing wrong with it for anyone who comes to me for saying I don't like fruit. It's just a personal preference though. I just prefer them when they have slightly less sugar in. It's probably not the sugar, because you already consume sugar all day long. That's what most vegans do. The carbs just turn into sugar in the body anyway. It's the same thing. That's exactly what I did, and someone was like, what is that girl doing? Anyway, I'm just going to enjoy this. I think you guys can probably hear, but I'm still a bit like, I don't know, a little bit coldy. I feel absolutely fine, but I'm clearly still just fighting it off or whatever, so... <laughs> And no wonder she drinks tea and coffee all day long. She doesn't eat anything with substance, or drink in this case. Oh my god, man. I don't know why it looks so disgusting to me. <laughs> More bread. <laughs> and this is lunch. It's basically pesto and that? black chickpeas with red kale and spinach and then just on some organic toast. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> of course you can't really make a healthy meal if you're vegan. Obviously it's impossible, but uh, you can still make way better stuff than this. It's just absolutely no surprise that she is exhausted. Look at the weather today. Not a cloud in the sky. There's tons of clouds right there. What do you mean? Already having some eye issues. That's what we want to see, Manchester. Hey, have they got a sunbather? Have they got a little sunbather? Do you want me to open the blinds for you? There you go. Now you can sunbathe wherever you want. Good evening, I Actually, you don't get anything for glass. You should uh, let the dog go outside, but then again... 
you don't go outside yourself much. Everyone, why do I always do something weird with my arms? It's always like so dramatic. Good. Because you're mentally ill, probably. Good evening, everyone. Let's try and be normal. Good evening, everyone. I sound like a teacher. Good evening, all. Um. Anyway, what am I actually talking about? Good evening, everyone. I've got a new chill on pit now. It's all going wrong today. Right. Good evening, everyone. It is currently. <laughs> This is really throwing me off because this clock says it's currently five o'clock. It's definitely currently six o'clock. Is, is it six o'clock? I'm so confused. Yeah, 6.14. How cute. <laughs> I was not too sure what to do for dinner tonight because you guys know me and my go-to if I'm cooking for myself is always pasta, some kind of pasta. <laughs> on this wonderful sunny evening, this is what goes into it. So on the chopping board, I've- She's so fake, I want to throw up. Yeah, okay, no wonder she's doing so incredibly bad. All that she ate was toast before, then again more bread with chickpeas, which are empty calories uh, as in carbohydrates really for the most part, because you can hardly get any protein out of it and there's um, essentially no fat except for some plant oils, with a lot of spices which are toxic, and of course you gotta add them, because it tastes terrible, otherwise you gotta somehow imitate real food, get your taste buds to believe that you're eating something substantial. I've chopped up half a courgette, I've got a few um, crushed cashews for the top. Now, I'm going to be completely honest guys, I think I thought this was coriander, I'm pretty sure it's parsley, I don't know. It looks like parsley, yeah. Parsley is extremely toxic, um, it's not really going to make a difference because your diet is uh, garbage anyway. But either way, we're going to go with this because it's what I've got fresh in the yeah, whatever. fridge. Then I've got some tofu chopped into tiny cubes to try and give you like reference. I've done them really small because um, I quite like them like that. And then it's irrelevant that she's probably going to make herself infertile with the parsley because it seems like she's into dogs anyway. And I've got some garlic, some ginger, some spring onion. These are the noodles I'm going to use. They're brown rice noodles. And then over here I've got some bok choy, pak choy. We just we've never found that one, guys. I don't know which one it is. And in here I've got some spinach, which I might just wilt through. And then, so soy sauce, sesame oil, and then this is dried chili. Now I very easily could be forgetting some kind of vital ingredient, but I will show you guys how I go. So let's get chopping. This is just pure depression. Oh, she actually adds the parsley afterwards so that it's intact and you can really get the toxins out of it. Because I was thinking she cooks all of the other stuff, which means that she actually destroys a lot of the toxins. Because overall this meal is just horrible because it's based, or not even based, on noodles, which are just carbs and fiber, just like the bread before. And really eating uh, grain-based products like that is the worst thing you can do for your health. And then all that she added were just a bunch of spices which are toxic and uh, a lot of the vegetables which are also. Basically all of them are completely unnatural ingredients. Therefore it would be impossible for you to have any health if all that you eat is not natural. <laughs> Just purely logically. really quite impressed with myself guys so let's go have a taste the tofu is really coated in the soy sauce and it just looks really fresh and yummy right okay let's try this I'm trying that a bit of everything it's mm, that is good cubes of tofu are just like perfectly browned in the um soy sauce it's so good it reminds you of meat or what And for the rest of the evening is pretty much what I've got going on right now. I am just going to curl up on the sofa. I've recently got back into... No way, is it more tea now, right? Downton Abbey. That was like my comfort show for a while. And then I kind of forgot about it when we moved. And then I rediscovered it the other day. And now I've been like watching it back to back. So I've got my evening cup of tea as always. <laughs> and then my little... Okay, I don't know what kind of a tea this is. Maybe it's something else, but... Uh... Even if there is no caffeine in it, 
Then there's something else which is poisonous to humans. Microdosing poisons doesn't make it any better. It accumulates anyway in the end. The treat at night time is I always have one or two of these Bouja Bouja truffles. They come in loads of different flavors, but today I've got the deeply chocolate ones, which are pretty much just like the plain chocolate one. So that is pretty much everything I'm going to eat today. All I'll probably have is maybe like another cup of tea, like a ginger tea or something before bed. I'm back on Sunday. Oh my God, I love this. <gasps> Am I boring you? Am I boring you? So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. It was lovely. Thank you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Why? Yeah, all right. As I said before, there's no way to have a healthy meal as a vegan seeing as plants don't have over 15 micronutrients. It will always be malnutrition by definition, but you can definitely do better than this. But if you base everything on bread and noodles, which are just fiber and carbohydrates, sugar, and then all that you add are some spices to make it more palatable and man-made toxic vegetables, then of course your health is gonna go down the drain. That's inevitable. This is exactly why she has those dark eye circles, has to wear so much makeup, drinks tea and coffee all day long, has no energy, eats chocolate in the evening, watching TV shows with her little dog. What an absolute slave life. <laughs> just, it's just a typical pathetic British life, innit? She's already miserable. It's only downhill from here. Thanks for watching.